everybody, it's Rihanna again, and this is my second video that I'm making. I'm going to kind of get you guys up to date with where I'm at now. Today, I am currently 13 weeks pregnant, and that means I am one week away from being in my second trimester. I'm really excited for that to see what that trimester is going to bring because I hear a lot of good things that you feel more energetic, that you just overall feel better in your second trimester versus your first. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, I just went to the doctor on Wednesday for my second baby visit and I am 131.4 pounds. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I was 124 pounds before I was pregnant. So I have put on a few pounds. They say that it's typically normal to gain a minimum of five pounds per trimester. Um, so you, you can expect more than that normally, but that's the minimum that you should be gaining. So the doctors feel that I'm right on target with that. And I am 35 inches around my waist, like front to back, measuring around with a measuring tape. I'm 35 inches around, and I was about 26 or 27 inches around before I was pregnant. So I definitely put on a few inches as well as a few pounds. All good things, though. Nothing I'm upset about. Um, let's see, the newest developments for this week at 13 weeks are the baby is three inches from head to bottom. That's not including the arms and legs, but from the head to the little butt um, is about three inches, which they say is about the size of a lemon. So if you can picture how big a lemon is, that's how big my little baby is right now. And the baby is already forming vocal cords and teeth buds underneath the gums, which I think is really interesting because babies don't normally get teeth for quite a while, but they're already underneath the gums in there at 13 weeks already, which is really cool. Um, fingerprints are already forming. Um, the baby already has fully formed hands and feet, has little fingers, little toes, and there are fingerprints already forming. And the baby can move already, like regular small little movements and reflexes, some kicking, and can also suck on its thumb at this time. Unfortunately, I can't really feel those movements yet, but um, that's to be expected. My doctor told me that I really wouldn't be feeling anything until closer to 20 weeks is when I'll really start feeling the cute little kicks and flutters that I've been hearing so much about. Um, that's about it for new developments for the baby and me this week. Um, I'd like to talk about kind of the prenatals that I've been taking and the medicines that I'm taking since I started my pregnancy. Um, when I found out I was pregnant, I started taking just a basic prenatal vitamin. Um, I didn't know anything about DHA or iron or any of that at the time, so I just kind of grabbed a regular prenatal vitamin off the shelf at a CVS pharmacy, and um, I was taking that for a few weeks, and I was doing all right, and then um, I wasn't taking any other medications or supplements, just a prenatal vitamin on a daily basis since I found out I was pregnant, and then um, later in my pregnancy, I had some really, really bad morning sickness. I mean, the kind of morning sickness that was from the moment I woke up till the moment that I went to bed. And I wasn't physically throwing up, but it was the awful feeling of nausea and just yuckiness and not feeling good. I wasn't able to eat what I wanted. I wasn't able to be active. I had no energy. I didn't want to even leave the house. Like getting dressed was a chore when I felt like that. And I would say that started around very early for me, around three, four weeks. I actually started with the morning sickness right away. And it was just so God awful that when I went to my first prenatal appointment, which was at 
11 weeks and four days, I believe, was my first baby ultrasound and everything. Um, normally, you go earlier. Normally, you go about eight or nine weeks for your first ultrasound and checkup, but my doctor was unfortunately on vacation, and since I wasn't having any problems or issues, they said I could just come in the following week. So I went in at 11 weeks and four days, and I got my first ultrasound. Eric was with me, and it was a beautiful, magical moment, just as you picture it to be. Um, we got to see our little baby moving like crazy on the screen. I couldn't believe that I couldn't feel any of it with how crazy the legs were kicking, the arms were going, it was rolling around in there. I thought it was amazing how much that little baby could do at 11 and a half weeks already. And she said I was measuring right at 11 and a half weeks. My due date is still March 10th of 2017. So we're extremely excited for that date to get to meet our little baby. Possibly a little sooner, possibly a little later. You know, everybody's different and a due date is just an estimate. But we are extremely excited. And the first appointment went well. But um, I diverged. Getting back on track, um, I was taking the regular prenatal vitamins. When I had that first appointment, I was talking to my doctor about how uncomfortable I've been, how sick and nauseous I've been, and she decided to put me on the Zofran, which is a pill, a medication for nausea. Now, I was really on the fence about taking that. I know that there's a lot of discussion and research out there regarding Zofran causing birth defects in babies during pregnancy. So I was really uneasy about taking it, but um, I discussed it with the doctor long and hard. We talked about it and Eric and I talked it over as well. And with how bad I was feeling to the point of almost not being able to function, we decided that it was best for me to give it a try and just see if it helped me. So I got the medicine, I took it that day and I got the worst headache of my life. I was sick. It made the nausea go away, but it made me awfully like just tired and yucky feeling and I didn't like the way it made me feel on day one. So I thought, okay, I'll give it one more try. I tried it the day after. I was actually going to work that day and I took it in the morning and I started to get really lightheaded, really dizzy. Um, I was sweating profusely. My coworkers were saying I was getting like red in my cheeks and my face and I felt like I was gonna pass out. So I really didn't feel good. Um, I definitely attributed it to the medicine and I stopped taking it after that. Um, luckily enough, the day that I stopped taking it was also the day that my morning sickness decided to stop, which was right around 12 weeks, which they say that's typically when you're supposed to start feeling better, when you're supposed to get more energy, less morning sickness, oh, excuse me, and less symptoms overall. One of them being burping. You're gonna have a lot of burping and a lot of indigestion and gassiness and bubbles. That just happens during pregnancy, it's uncomfortable. So if I burp in any of these videos, I apologize, but it is almost uncontrollable when you're pregnant. You will learn this if you are trying to become pregnant or if you are pregnant watching this video, then you already know what I'm talking about. So um, moving on. The doctor put me on the Zofran to try to make me feel better. And that wasn't really making me feel any better. And then, um, what happened after that? I actually developed some really painful constipation. Sorry if this is TMI. But um, I developed some really painful constipation. I wasn't able to go to the bathroom for days on end. So my doctor decided to switch me to a prenatal vitamin without iron in it. She felt that my iron levels were good enough that I didn't need the extra iron. Now that may not be the case for everyone. Some people may need that extra iron from that vitamin and some people may not. Um, I was lucky enough that I was able to stop taking the iron and just have a regular prenatal without it. And that definitely helped a lot with the constipation. And also taking a stool softener 
daily, just one. And it is the Colace brand. It is stimulant free, so it doesn't make you go. It just makes it easier to go. Just like the commercial says, that's what it does. And it does work extremely well for me. I'm feeling a lot better, a lot more regular, and a lot more comfortable because I was having such severe stomach pain, I almost took myself to the hospital. That's how bad it can get, guys. And um, pregnancy during it, you can get constipation. It is a typical pregnancy symptom. So that is something you can expect to come across during pregnancy. It's a very common pregnancy symptom.